kind of pretty. Yes. They're kind of pretty. Hello, everybody, but that's not what I was talking, coming here to talk about. I was going to talk about something that's got people divided. Um, Israel. I'm going to say something about Israel. Israel went in and took the Palestinians' land. Look up Ben Gurion. I went to that airport I got spit on. That was in Tel Aviv. I was on my way to someplace else. That was in the 70s. Probably because of my skin color. <clears throat> I guess they had the M16s. They even pointed at me, and I was just in an airport. <clears throat> Ow! Thistle. Mm. Okay, um, there's a. A, a young girl, her name's Rachel Corey, um, she lives, well, she did live until she was killed by Israel, right across the street from Kenny's mom. We, this is a very personal case to us. She went to, um, to uh, Gaza, or the area of Palestine that had been fenced off. They didn't get any water or food or anything. There was a doctor there, a very humble doctor, and she went to defend his home because they were going to bulldoze it. I'm going to leave the links below so you can see what Rachel Corey was about and where she's from. Our co-op bo boycotts Israel, by the way, and we've um, had to fight them tooth and nail. Bo uh, Israel also guards our borders and says that they use Palestine as a test case. So think about what's coming our way. Um, the Semitic Jews do not like what Israel's done. Not one of them. So you think about that. The real Jews do not like what this state of Israel has done. Now, but let me get back to Rachel Corey. She was guarding. She stood in front of a bulldozer that was going to bulldoze a doctor. And they do need doctors there. You think about it. The majority of the people who have not been killed have not been killed are young people or very old people. I mean, it's, it's simply North America all over again. And for you fuckers who say quit bringing up the past, quit bringing up Jesus and I'll quit bringing up the past. Because to me, he's past. He was murdered. If I bring up my, my ancestors who were murdered, people say, forget about the past. Well, my mother was murdered in 1968. Some of you were alive then. <clears throat> when did knee happen? All kind of shit's happened. Oka happened in the 1990s in, in Canada. You people would know nothing about that. I'll leave that link. Anyway, Rachel Corey was first ran over by the bulldozer. Then he backed up and made sure he smashed her good. I'll leave what the Israeli government had to say about killing a United States citizen. They first of all had no remorse. Said they didn't give a shit. <clears throat> there would be no compensation and they would never apologize. Never. If that's your kind of friend, you are my enemy. I don't believe in genocide of any kind. Any kind. That's personal to me. We know the family. It's personal. It's fucking personal. It's not a lie. It's not using children. She was young. And she went to do something noble and she was killed. So it's very goddamn personal to me. Every time we go see Kenny's mom, it's hard to look across the street. That family has been ripped, completely torn apart because their daughter had done such an honorable thing and the state of Israel spit upon their daughter, spit in their face. That's what Israel thinks of Americans. So everybody who supports Israel, think about that spit in the face to your child. Someone who did something noble. Someone who had courage, a warrior child. Someone who would do something instead of sit and rant. I'm not trying to divide. I want people to understand the facts. Go look and find out how the state of Israel was made. Go look. Look up the facts instead of regurgitating what other people say. Go look how it was a stolen land. How the Jews and the Palestinians used to get along just fine. They did until. And here's one more thing. Guess why the Palestinians have got to all be genocided? It's not religion, you motherfuckers. 
It's because there's resources. It's what every war, it's not religious wars, it's resource wars. Fuck, North America was resources for Great Britain and the other European nations. They used up almost all their trees. They had no fish. They overfished everything. They did not know how to live within their environment. Now, there's oil over there. Those people don't have fresh water, they don't have medicine, they don't have lights, they don't have anything. And you people sit and applaud Israel. Number one, if you look at your God, G-A-W-D, or we could spell it G-O-D, just spell that backwards, it's dog. If you look at your God, and your God says this is okay, then there's something wrong with you, you have a mental illness. If you're spiritual and you seek to have that Christ consciousness or whatever it is, he would have never approved of that. Never. I've read some of his words. He was actually opposed to everything those Jews stood for. Those Khazar Jews. He was totally against it and he got killed for it. He got killed for standing against them for the shit they did. And you guys say you're Christians and you stand up for the same things he opposed. Peace.